Hey, that golden hour lighting though, yes please. I've had this video idea in my head, so as I mentioned previously, I'm gonna be tightening up my weekly budget for the foreseeable future till I know the lay of the land with things financially for myself. And one of the things that I spend the most frequently on is my groceries, my food. So I actually want to answer the question. When it comes to my staples, which is cheaper, Aldi or Dunn's? Why I chose Aldi and Dunn's was Aldi was where I shopped all the time and I'm pretty familiar with. I know where the stuff is and I find I can shop a lot in Aldi. And the reason I chose Dunn's and I'm more of a Dunn's gal lately is because I'm going to say I find, but it's a fact, Dunn's is much easier to shop in if you're trying to cut down on your single-use plastic. Almost everything in Aldi in the fresh produce section is covered in plastic or in a plastic tray or both. And while it may be cheaper, I just can't justify it. I also find the fresh produce lasts a little bit longer in Dunn's. Not sure why that is. And being on a reasonably healthful plant-based diet, I shop a lot from the produce section. So yeah, I'm about to go into Aldi here. I'm gonna shop for a few bits and I'm going to have a look at the price of my staples. I have a little list with me here and at the end we might have an answer. I don't know what we're gonna do if half the stuff is cheaper in Dunn's and half the stuff is cheaper in Aldi. We'll just have to call it tie but it's just to give me an idea of where I should be doing my bulk of my shopping also if it's worth going to two supermarkets to split my shopping have my produce from Dunn's and then everything else from Aldi and then I said you know what this might make some interesting content I don't know whenever I bring up grocery shopping among my peers in actual conversation usually it it gets pretty passionate people like to talk about grocery shopping people also like to talk about how they make their porridge but anyway I'm gonna head in here now come on in of course, I bring my own shopping bags. All right, I'm finished in Aldi. I just went through and kind of filmed. Got a few little weird looks off people, but hey ho, I didn't catch anyone else in the footage as far as I'm aware. So while all the things I saw are fresh in my memory, I'm gonna go to Dunn stores now and do the comparison. So if you'd like to play a little game, pause this video, head down to the comment section and vote for which you think is going to be cheaper. Let's go to Dunn's. Oh, that is not flattering. <laughs> so I've left Aldi. I've gotten all my clips from there of all my basic staple foods. I'm gonna head into Dunn's here now. Hey. I'm gonna head into Dunn's here now and find the alternatives in here and we'll do a price comparison. So the first clip you're going to see is Aldi. You're, if you're familiar with Aldi, you'll see the labels. And the second clip is gonna be Dunn's so we can compare and contrast. And after I'm finished in both, I'm gonna do the sums and see if I bought one of everything I showed, which one would be cheaper. And it'll be interesting to see if maybe half the stuff is cheaper in Dunn's or vice versa. Also, whatever result I get will be for my basics. If you eat a completely different diet to me, then perhaps you might get a completely different result. But I thought this was just interesting for me to know personally, especially as I'm gonna be like penny pinching a bit over the next while. But yeah, come on, let's go into Dunn's. And there's a few bits in here I need to get as well because I couldn't get them in. I'll die. Oh, that's cute. Bananas are 125 per kilo. Loose bananas, 125 per kilo. 200 grams of spinach leaves are 89 cent. Superfood salad bag is 159. The Aldi soy yogurt, it's called Soy Yummy, 139. I would imagine this Alpro Plain is possibly the equivalent, and it's 235. The almond milks, both unsweetened and original, are 169 each. The soy unsweetened is 75 cent, and the sweetened is also 75 cent. Aldi just has almond unsweetened almond soy and unsweetened soy which is what I'm gonna to have to compare it to here. Regular almond milk 249 unsweetened 239 and for soy regular is 209 and the unsweetened is 209 as well. I just discovered 
Dunn's has its own brand of almond milk now and that's 169 for the roasted unsweetened. Um, and this is unroasted, I'm not really sure what that means, but I'll do a price comparison on that one. And I'm actually going to buy this one and see what it's like. Hummus is completely sold out, but it's 79 cent for 200 grams. So the hummus here is on special two for four euro. I'm trying to find one singular one. 2.49 each. That seems a bit excessive. That seems a bit expensive, doesn't it? Yeah, that seems to be right. 2.49. That's very expensive. Look. A bag of regular old sugar. It's 95 cent. Dunn's brand sugar. A euro a bag. The Aldi brand just plain white sliced pan is 69 cent. I feel like I should be looking at this pan here, plain Dunn Stores brand white sliced pan, 69 cent. Baked beans in Aldi, 38 cent, 79 cent. In Aldi, chopped tomatoes are actually reduced at the moment from 39 cent to 35 cent. The Dunn Stores chopped tomatoes are 95 cent a can. Plain pasta sauce is 47 cent. The Dunn's pasta sauce is 150 a jar. 500 grams of plain spaghetti is 45 cent in Aldi. Here we have the Dunn's alternative, the home brand Italian spaghetti pasta. And for 500 grams, that is a euro. The Dunn Stores microwavable rice appear to be 79 cent each. And then the bagged brown rice for the less lazy amongst us. 150. And 150 for the bag of brown rice. Now I have a few different varieties of oats here, but I'm going to go with the cheapest one. And this seems to be it. And for a kilo, sorry, for a kilo and a half, it's 99 cent. Oh, I'm in the oat section, there's about 17 million brands. This is the Dunn Store's own brand, and for a kilo and a half, it's a euro. So I think that's much the same price as Aldi, maybe a cent dearer. But yeah, not bad. Bag of frozen broccoli, 907 grams, very specific, is 49 cent. Here's the Dunn bag of broccoli. It's obviously a euro for a kilo of broccoli. I think Aldi is way cheaper than that. Green beans, 970 grams, 69 cent. And the green beans in Dunn's are a euro for 750 gram. These Aldi vegetable quarter pounders are 159 for four. I'm trying to find an equivalent here for the veggie burger. They have the bird's eye ones, which look to be quite similar to the Aldi one, and they are two euro for four. Half price at the moment for a euro, that's pretty good. No, is it? No. They're 330 for four. Or we have the Dunn Store's own brand, cauliflower and chickpea burgers for 350, which seems kind of expensive. Rice cakes, I don't personally eat them because they make me really gassy, but these are just the sea salted ones. And they're 69 cent a pack. Salted rice cakes, 50 cent in Dunn's. I can't find tin. Oh, I'm here, I found them. <laughs> I was gonna say I can't find tinned beans. Like, you know, kidney beans and that sort of thing. They're slim pickings. Like baked beans, peas, jarred carrots, corn. And I have one tin of beans here. So the tinned cannellini beans are marked as being 59 cents, but there's only one tin. Do you know what? Actually, I think I'm gonna get them. In Aldi, we had that tinned bean issue where all they had was cannellini beans. So the Dunn Stores version is a euro a tin. Hog roll, we all use it. And there's quite a selection here in Aldi. So we're gonna, gonna go with this one for the control. The Saxon two ply nine roll pack. And it's 2.29 and hopefully Dunn's will have an alternative that I can compare this to. It's actually a cheaper brand than the Dunn's brand. It's called Nikki. And for nine rolls, two ply, that's 2 95 I just tried the Fit Fork, not related to Dunn's or Aldi at all. Um, yeah, but it's not bad. Anyway, I'm gonna do the sum, so I'm gonna go through and do it now. It's 
been a long time since I've done math and a long time since I've used a calculator. I had to redo that three or four times because I kept get, getting different figures. But if I bought one of everything from Dunn's and Aldi, the total for Dunn's would have been 31.87 and the total for Aldi would have been 20 euro 67, giving a difference of 11 euro 20, which is a 35. The battery cut me off just as I was about to get to the climax. I hate when that happens. So the difference between Aldi and Dunn's was Dunn's was more expensive by 35%. That is significant. I was most surprised by the price difference in soy milk in Aldi 75 cent versus 2 euro and 9 cent in Dunn's. That seems a bit much. Also the soy yogurt 139 in Aldi versus 235 in Dunn's. Pasta sauce was over triple the price in Dunn's and the frozen vegetables in general was about twice the price in Dunn's than Aldi. It's actually bizarre looking through all these numbers. So I think moving forward, it just makes good sense to buy like these staples, the ones that are significantly cheaper in Aldi and just go to Dunn's for my fresh produce. But with the likes of the oats and the bananas, they're the same price in both, so that's not gonna matter hugely. But the likes of tinned beans and baked beans, Aldi's the definite winner here, lads. So is this something you've been interested in? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just I'm just a fucking money nerd. But let me know if there's anything similar you'd like me to do with other shops or if you have any other unique ideas like this that I could do in future. I'm happy to be at your service. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.